I got something to say, man. I got something to say. And hold on. I just finished eating and but it's irritating me so much so I have to speak my mind about it, right? Bro, bad dispatchers with attitudes. Bro, you Bro, I understand, okay. You probably talk to truckers all day long, right? Some truckers have attitudes. Some truckers are not personable. I can understand that. Excuse me. Me, myself, personally, I try to um, be respectful whenever I deal with someone, especially if it's with business, even if I'm not a fan of the way that they do business you know i i still understand it's a business aspect and um but at the end of the day we're drivers we're drivers you know what i mean we're drivers and 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 we're easily replaceable right but i gotta just give a shout out to my dispatcher that i've dealt with that you know that i've dealt with this whole year because he's never he never has attitudes never has attitudes anytime i ask him to do something it's done like without question i don't got to keep calling him nothing is going to get done right every single time i've asked this man to give me a load to a certain place all year a hundred percent of the time he's done it a hundred percent of the time i just know if i tell him hey Look, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go. He going to call me back. Like, hey, man, I got you a load going here. Uh, it drops here, you know, and it's going to give me plenty of time to get there, right? But he's been out of the office for a few days. I think he was going on vacation or something like that. And I talked to a new dispatcher, and he was a cool dude, he, you know, but I'm not sure if he was new, but we didn't. We had an understanding, okay, look, I'm going to drop off this load. And then I'm going to pick this load up and take it here, right? I got all day to do this, but if I don't do it, I can just get it first thing in the morning to have a full day of driving, right? I get, as soon as I get to the pickup, girl calls and she always has an attitude every single time. I mean, she doesn't have an attitude, but her voice isn't personable. You know what I mean? She's just re very vague and um, just very vague, you know what I mean? Very vague and very... um monotone you know what i mean so so she's like she's like she called me she's like hey you're supposed to be this low needed to pick up by this time you're not going to make it on time and i said yeah but you know i let him know that if i didn't do it get it today we just grab it first thing tuesday morning well no this low that's that's not an option this low has to be picked up now so we're going to take you off this load and we're going to put you on something else. I'm like, my, like I said, my dispatcher's out of the office. I'm not sure. He just, he sent me a message saying, hey, you know, um, I am, uh, I am going to be out of the office because I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. So then I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't know what, what, what do you, what else am I supposed to say that? Okay. And I just said, okay. You know, obviously I'm pissed off about it, but you know, hey, things happen. We, it was a miscommunication. I de I'm dealing with a dispatcher I don't usually deal with. And I've dealt with another dispatcher in this company a few times and he's a really nice guy. You know, it's a few of them that are really nice that I usually deal with, but these people that I've been speaking to recently are new, right? Have to be, cause I first time I ever talked to him. So she usually has a, she's usually very vague monotone and she's direct and she just I don't, it's just it's not it, she doesn't have a um a friendly voice should i say she doesn't have a friendly voice but anyway so and then the and then so i call and they sent me another load that was going further but it was paying less so i call and i'm like hey man i'm like hey i just want to is this because sometimes they'll send it low, but it, it actually pays more than what it shows on the Qualcomm, right? So then I call them and I'm like, hey, man, um, I just want to question about this load. Is it is this uh, how much it pays or is it not done yet? No, it, that's what it pays. I'm like, oh, because it, it's more weight, which means I'm going to have to use pay more in fuel 
because it weighs more. And I'm going up and down mountains. So I'm gonna have to pay more in fuel and um it's going further, right? So that's that's all from the profit. It's just gone, gone, right? So I'm like, so is I just wanna make sure that that's the actual price is or is that the final price? He's like, no, that's what it pays. I'm like, well, I just was curious because the load that you guys sent me before this that I was on um paid more and was less miles and it weighed less. He's like different company that's what he said he said different company so i'm like quiet like silent just waiting for him to keep explaining i'm like so so they different company i'm like yeah i'm like well you know i just honestly don't feel like that would be a smart decision knowing when i talk to ty you know what happens majority of the time well you know what you're doing Bro, I am the number one in revenue. I've never had any issues with this company, with my dispatcher that I use. Never had any issues. Like, that, I mean, that's just the whole point of this video is really just to say, like, bro, just it, I understand that you, but think about us as truckers from my perspective, right? We are dealing with people in traffic cutting us off all day long flipping us off, doing all this crazy stuff that we just have to ignore, right? And just deal with. And, and But yet, we're still respectful to you. You can't have that same, just like a little bit of uh, of um Southern hospitality, I guess you could say. Is that too much to ask? Like, I would just say dispatchers, like, just understand. We understand that you guys, some truckers have attitudes, but once you hang up that call and you pick up that next call, it should be a whole, it should be, like you never talk to anybody because that's a whole new person you're talking to. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, brother, I, I think that's it just it's kind of ridiculous, but I'm that's why I'm so grateful for the dispatchers that I do have. I just honestly pray that this is the last dispatcher I have to deal with. I do not want another dispatcher. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just feel like dealing with these dealing with certain types of people in this world that just aren't kind people. You know, that's why I keep my friend circle so small because my friend circle are their kind people. They're honestly kind, very kind hearted people. You know what I mean? I, I, me and Jeremy, I've known Jeremy since 10th grade. We have never even had an argument before. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I bro, I just, you know what I mean? So, that's why... I keep because it's, you have to deal with enough in this world. So having that peace of mind is just like is when you when you're dealing with people that you don't have to deal with. I'm not taking anything extra, bro. Nothing at all, bro. You would not. I would not deal with you at all because my peace of mind is that valuable to me. You know what I'm saying? But I just I just feel like as a dispatcher, you should have understand that this is a new driver I'm talking to, and and let me let me think about how his day might have went. Let me just have a little bit of hospitality. You know what I mean? Just I don't know, man. I, but you know what I'm saying? Not not all people are raised like that. Some people are gonna be like, well, that's you just being soft. You just being soft. Okay, well, but you know, whatever. You know, I can understand where you're coming from as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just what it is, man. If you want to make this money. And and you're not a bit on business owner. Even it doesn't matter if you're a business owner. You're always gonna have to deal with people, and you just how it is. You know what I mean? You just hope that you get a good group of business people that you can deal with, and you keep those around. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing really you can do, man. So, yeah, that's just my little little rant. I I wouldn't really say it's a rant, but I would just say it's, speak my peace of mind. You know what I mean? Like. It is what it is, man. Just, it is what it is. Everything that comes after this, it is what it is, man.